to another episode of That Whiskey Show. I am Chris, and this beautiful lady is my wife, Joan. Hi. Uh, tonight, we're excited. We're trying a new bourbon. Actually, a new one for me. I have not tried it yet. She has. This is going to be the Bib and Tucker Small Batch Bourbon. Uh, pretty excited about it, actually. I can. I got to tell you, from a marketing standpoint, they have me sold on the cool bottle. I like the bottle, you know? So, marketing department, you have done your job. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn it over to Joan, and she's going to take you through kind of a walkthrough of her knowledge on this, and I'm going to sit and just absorb some notes, let it breathe for a little bit while she is telling you what's going on. All right, so, Bib and Tucker, a six-year-old bourbon sourced uh, from an undisclosed, I'm sorry, Tennessee distillery. Um, this was the baby of um, a vintner, actually, uh, originally, the same one who did Masterson's. Um, his name is August Sebastini, and this was under one of his, like, really, really, really um, smaller kind of nameplates, uh, Three Badge Beverage Co. Um, sold in 2017 to uh, Deutsch Family Wine and Spirits, um, along with Masterson's. Uh, they also do Redemption Rye. So, um, you know, in good company with uh, kind of, I don't want to say pseudo-craft, but definitely crafted for the market. Um, their marketing is spot on. Uh, the name Bib and Tucker um, refers to like a, a tux. Uh, it's got a, a bib and you tuck it in. So gotcha. yep. the, your bib and tuckers are your Sunday best. Um, mash bill on this, um, I've seen 26% uh, rye, 70% corn, and 4% barley. Non-chill filtered. And since it's a bourbon, we know that there's no color allowed to be in there too. Yeah. Uh, they put this out here at 92 proof, um, which I think is great that it is not 80 and I haven't had this since they have sold used to be one of my absolute favorites um, all the time introduce people to it um, kind of different on the palate I remember it being earthy and herbaceous um, with a little bit of aggression they said that when they sold, they were not planning on doing anything differently, that they had uh, many, many years of the sourcing still lined up. So specific, or they, they said that this is gonna remain the same juice. Gotcha. It's, I can tell, like right off the, I will say that at 92 proof, you do get a pretty high ethanol nose out of it. Yeah, uh, what they're trying to do here is kind of ride the line between an elegant, sophisticated whiskey and kind of an Old West knock your socks off whiskey. Gotcha, because there's, there's a little bit of smoke in there. I'm getting apple. It knows is younger, for sure, than six years. Um, they've got a number one char on the barrel, so that's going to leave way less charcoal. So there's not as much charcoal as on say a number four where, or necessarily as a number two, three, or four, right. uh, that's gonna act as a filtration. So yeah, the nose, as I said, for a 92 proof, you get a little bit more kick of ethanol than I would say on other 90 proof whiskeys that I have nosed. Uh, I definitely am getting a strong apple in there, some smoke. You definitely citrus. get the yes, right, it's fun yeah, and, citrus. And, um, and the apple is definitely there yeah, in the it's nose huge. as well. It's huge. At least for me, it is. Little, uh, little bit peppery. Yeah, little peppery. Mm -hmm. um, decent, decent amount of rye in there. I do like the color. It has a very nice color to it. Mm -hmm. Well, six years it should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I assume it was aged in Kentucky as well. I know it was distilled and bottled, so it doesn't really make sense for it to be aged anywhere else. So, um, God, Tennessee. I'm sorry, aged and bottled in Tennessee. 
It's all right, um, folks. As you can see, it's still light outside, so our nocturnal brains have not kicked in yet. <laughs> I'm just so used to you saying know, Herman is from Kentucky. No, we're doing the show a little bit earlier inside because we just got a pool in our backyard, and we're both jonesing to go be in our pool before the sun goes down. So we're cranking out the episode a little bit earlier tonight than usual. Yeah, we were lucky enough to find one of the 12-foot easy sets. Yeah. Uh, not as easy as they say. No. Not as easy but as they say. But still very cool and we're yeah. excited to go get uh, <laughs> get our splash on. Uh, anyways, back to the whiskey <laughs> in hand. Um, it's got a nice, it has a nice flavor for sure and a nice um, slow, slow burn to oh, it. Yeah. Uh, it goes down, you definitely feel the heat, but it's not one of those that if you're new to whiskey, you're not going to be upset trying this one first. It's not a harsh burn. It's just a nice even heat going down. Yep, I still like it. <laughs> um, it's a bit thin, which I did not expect from it being non-chill filter. Um, you can see the lipids there. Um, Tons of them, but it, it does have a, a thinner mouthfeel than I yeah, expected. Yeah, uh, no real like waxy uh -uh. Uh, aftertaste to it or sensation there at all. I'm uh, going to chalk that up to the number one char too. Gotcha. It has, it, it has a nice flavor. I can't really necessarily pull out a real distinct flavor out of it though. I mean... It, it's young and lightly aggressive, and it is different. It is not. It is not your average whiskey. It is not your average bourbon. It doesn't have the overt corn sweetness that you kind of expect. Um, it, it is. It's. It's a. Uh, it is earthier. Yeah. It. It. It has that. There's a dryness. There's definitely a smokiness and kind of, yeah, that almost, I don't want to say dirt, like you said, earthy, earthy but totally. it, I have to be honest, friends, I'm on the fence. Um, I think this would appeal to a scotch drinker. Um, and maybe that's why it's not necessarily knocking me off my socks. That doesn't mean to say that it's bad. I'm just saying that for me... Yeah, let's see what a little water will do to it for me, because right now, I would not say that this would be something that I would go out of my way to drink, but that's just me. She enjoys it. She's definitely sways much more to the scotch side than I do. Now try so, it with some water. Yeah, I think it, you'll uh, like it. I think you'll know. like it. Uh, a lot and more. I'm not saying that I don't <laughs> like it. I'm just saying that out of a lot of whiskeys that I've tasted, this one isn't really knocking my socks off by any means. See, now I'm getting a lot of caramel and uh, creme brulee in the nose since since uh, the water. The citrus has receded a lot and kind of almost like a creaminess. Okay. I do like it much better with water. The water gave it a different element that I think that neat for me just wasn't giving me. Uh, the water brought out some different flavors that I do mm -hmm. enjoy much more. This is this is definitely one that I'll retract saying that wasn't necessarily for me. Not necessarily for me neat. Put a little bit of water in it, even a nice rocks. This on the rocks I think I would very much enjoy. Uh, just straight neat though, it didn't do much for me. It's much better with the water. Much better with the water. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the, the, the youth and a, I wouldn't usually say that something aged six years in a southern atmosphere would, would uh, have this much youth shining through, this much kind of new make, um, just spirit. Right. Um, it has a lot of pepper to it. And when, after the water went in definitely getting I, much I more pepper. I actually really love the nose after the water. That that creme brulee creaminess and kind of vanilla caramel butterscotch 
all in the nose. Not really, this, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more out of the nose than I'm getting out of the palette. Yes, 100%. 100%. I still like this. I would still recommend it. Um, it is a little bit more expensive than it used to be. Um, it's supposed to go for 50 to 55 in my market. For some reason, this was at 60. Um, I remember it being like a 45 to 50 dollar bottle. And yeah, and I would put it as I would prefer it to be in that price range. <laughs> um, I'm just being, hey, look, once again, we, we do these reviews to give our honest opinion. I'm not going to just say something's great because it's on our table and we're drinking it. Uh, out of all the reviews that we have done, I would have to honestly say this is my least favorite out of all of them. That doesn't mean that it's a bad whiskey. It doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. It's just for me, this isn't doing it for me. The water helped. It definitely made it much better with the water, but this is not one that I'm gonna regularly seek out uh, to, to have a cocktail with. Yeah, after six years, I expect more barrel influence and less new make coming through. Yeah. So, yeah. while it is still unique and it still has a place and I'm gonna recommend it for certain people, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that I, I want more age. I want more barrel influence. Yeah, I mean, for six years yeah. and, and the price point. I, but the, the nose after the water is beautiful. It I is. Really and, and the like flavor, and, and for me, the flavor is much better with the water, as I stated. But yeah, I just can't, I, I, I can't say that I love it. I, I don't. Uh, you know, um, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from trying it. Please, you have to make up your own minds. Try what you want to try. And if you're more on the scotch side of the fence, maybe you'll really love this. I'm not on the scotch side. So this, as I said, it really just does not do it for me. I'm still going to finish my dram because there's a special place in hell for people who don't reserve, uh, finish their whiskey that's poured for them. So, you know, and, and she'll double up because... That's what she does. I also took less <laughs> at the beginning. I poured myself like a one ounce and poured you I know, you did, my love. It's all good. Um, so, but anyways, look, you know, yeah, that, that's kind of where I sit with it. I'm kind of just on the fence about it. It, it. it didn't floor me. It doesn't really do much for me, but I'm not going to label it as bad because it's not bad. It's just not for me. And as a... As I poured another one, here, knows that I'm getting more out of the nose. The nose is amazing on this whiskey. It, the nose is, and that's almost kind of what's so disappointing about it for me, is that when you have such a quality nose and the notes that are coming out, and then you don't get that in the palate, to me that's... Yeah, it's disappointing, it's disappointing. and you don't want to be disappointed by what you're drinking. Right. I love the nose. I like the finish. Um, weird thinness for a non-chill filtered. It's, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to see this with a number three char. Right. See what that does. Yeah. So, well, and you know, friends, one of the, this is why we do this show. But we it's like a unique thing. For, if, if that's what you want, you know, there aren't very many bourbons that use a number one char, and I think this is why because. Possibly, if you were thinking, you've got, oh my god, I love this new make, and I have this honey barrel, you know, maybe I make this uh, a 20 year. And on, you know, using a barrel like this on a 20 year might, I mean, possibly. We're reaching for stars now. <laughs> but anyways, you know, for those of you who really enjoy this whiskey, please feel free to leave in the comments what your thoughts are, what you enjoy about it. For those of you who maybe agree with me a little bit more, leave the comments as well and discuss why you think the same thing. Uh, you know, that's what this show's about. It's an open forum. We, we give our opinions on it and that's all it is. It's just our opinions. We're not sponsored by anything. We're not paid by anyone. It's just we're trying it and letting you know what we think. So we love to get the comments to see what you think as well. So, you know, uh, as always, 
for us, doing this show is a blast. We really do truly love doing it, and we really mean it when we say it. We don't care if 10 people watch it or 10,000. This is just a good time for us, and we do truly appreciate each and every one of you who have clicked on the channel to check out our reviews. And, uh, you know, friends, uh, during these times, let's always remember, be kind to one another. Super important right now. Let's all share a little bit of love, and uh, maybe drinking a little bit more whiskey will help everyone with that. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. We do truly appreciate it.